Hi everybody, welcome back to another weekly craft video. This week we are going to be making this adorable embroidered snowflake. You're going to get this little piece of wood right here. It's got some holes in it and you can thread some embroidery floss through the holes to create this nice snowflake pattern. You can make whatever pattern or design you want. Your snowflake doesn't have to look just like mine, but I'm gonna show you how I made mine. Let's get started. In your craft kit this week, you're gonna get a little package that looks just like this. Open it up, and inside you're going to have a wooden um, snowflake, some embroidery thread, a little piece of string to hang your ornament with, a needle, and some instructions. At home, you might want to grab a ruler or measuring tape and some scissors. They give you plenty of embroidery thread for this project. You're not gonna need it all. It would be kind of difficult to try to work with all of this thread at once. I think it's much easier to cut smaller portions of this embroidery thread to work with and use more if you need to. I used my ruler to measure and cut a piece of thread that's about six feet long. If you try to work with a piece that's longer than six feet, it can easily become tangled. Now I'm ready to thread my needle. I'm gonna take one end of my string and an easy way to do this is to wrap the string around your needle and pull it down, pull it tight, just like that. And then you can insert this little nub or this little loop into the eye of your needle, just like that, and pull it through. Now I'm going to double my string. That means I'm gonna pull on the shorter end until it's the same length as the other side of string. Whoops. So we have our two ends together just like that with our needle on the other side. Now I'm gonna tie a double knot in the ends just like this, one, two, there you go. If you need help with this part, ask an adult. Now I'm ready to start my snowflake. You can design your snowflake however you want. It doesn't have to look like mine. You can start working on your snowflake from any of these spaces here. All I'm gonna do is stick my needle in one of the spaces and pull until my knot catches my thread, just like that. There we go. And we're just gonna go in and out of these different spaces until they're all filled up. Sometimes it might be a little bit tight getting the needle through the hole. Just push or pull it through and eventually it will go. These needles are a little bit too big for these holes, I think. Just go in through one side and then come back up just like that. Down in and back up out again. Make sure you don't put any thread in this big hole at the top. This one we're going to save till the end. Once you get to the end of your string, 
just trim it at the needle. And then go ahead and tie a knot and pull it close to your snowflake to keep the thread in place. Ask an adult for help with this step if you need it. Once you're done, trim the thread and then you can start another piece of embroidery thread. Once you get to the end, flip it over, trim off any extra strings, and tie a knot in the end of the string that you're working with. 